Back in May, I took a short trip to Chicago with my friend. We arrived first thing in the morning and went straight to the aquarium. Of course, we tried a Chicago dog before our next destination. We didn't win the lottery for Hamilton, so we saw Aladdin instead. Because they were rush tickets, they were seated with obstructed view, but still very close to see their expressions. Afterwards, we walked around the Museum of Contemporary Art, which wasn't far from our hotel. We got deep dish pizza for dinner. We ended our day with hot chocolate before we went back to our hotel. We went to Willis Tower as early as possible to avoid any long lines. It was a little scary walking out onto the sky deck. We explored the city some more and made our way to Chinatown. I think the Chinatown in Chicago is nicely designed. For dinner, we went to Dussex, a 2016 Michelin star recipient, to meet my friend for dinner. We went downstairs afterwards to have some drinks and dessert. Afterwards, we tried to go to Millennium Park, but it wasn't as well lit as I had hoped. We decided we would try to go again before our flight the next day. On our last day, we started up north to have breakfast at Tank Noodle. We did some shopping around Andersonville before we took our tour at Wrigley Field. There are a lot of cute stores and boutiques along the street.
Because my friend and I are not big baseball fans, we decided to do the more economical choice of doing a tour of the field. We decided to go back to Chinatown because I was craving Korean food. This would be our last meal in Chicago. Right before heading back to the airport, we stopped by Buckingham Fountain and Millennium Park. This time we could actually see everything. <laughs> <laughs> 